Hello and welcome to the Beer Talks. I am the Beard AK John and this is a special Beer Talks video. Now I usually have a gameplay Friday, like some random gameplay I'll play, but there's something been rattling around in my head which I want to get out to you. Now I'm always talking about like next gen consoles etc and some of the rumours are going on about them. Now the reason I want to talk about this is really um, all this talk about the moment in the news about DRM or digital rights management and online only gameplay and this has all been because of the debacle which has been SimCity now I don't know who smart ass EA came up with just gonna make it a game online we're gonna make it online only with DRM and it has kept millions of people from playing this game it's just stupid they pay for it they cannot play even when they said oh on the day you'd be able to play it on the day no one can fucking most of the players can even log onto the fucking servers because they are crashing left right and center literally all of them are gone and no one can fucking play it now the reason i brought this up is as i said before i want i like to talk about the next gen consoles now i already know that the ps4 can play games offline and will always most likely be disbased but what what's in the future we don't know anything about the xbox at the moment so that could go online only but just like what the hell so it's like i want to talk about this and we don't know what's going to happen in a few years time because they could i very much doubt they can bring out another xbox etc for just online play so it might like be already built into the xbox when it releases or the other version of the xbox which probably will release as time goes on but it's just like the, the rumours at the moment, just like the games might become online play, might not. They're all up in the air at the moment. And it is really just all to stop piracy, all this online stuff, so people can't copy the game and get, like, pass it on, etc. And it is the main reason why most of the um, like big game publishers like um, Ubisoft, etc., are going like DRM, is to, it will, it is proof to stop or reduce privacy. It is. Every screw up over the past 10 years that, that dealt with online play and DRM, and even today with the debacle which is sim city like what's happened with it it's just like it, it takes a terrible toll on us the gamers the trust and enthusiasm of all the loyal gamers that that play these games these are the people who go out by all the dlc and by the limited edition ones and this is where the revenue comes from this is where the the, the, the game's revenue comes from because it's all they're doing is hurting themselves the publishers are all they're going to do is just hurt themselves and just ruin themselves because when they get it wrong on release date a word of mouth will just go the game's shit don't even bother getting it because apparently well, well really word well, i would say apparently and really the word of mouth of a game is is awesome if the word of mouth of a game is brilliant you can spread like fucking wildfire if it's put on the internet my god it will go fucking far and beyond and if a bad word is said about that game jesus christ it'll just dive into oblivion and no one fucking ever see it again the same can said about like the next gen consoles games if they went this way if they if they went online drm way and if they screwed up the point of owning the console and playing with your friends would be fucking pointless there would be no point having it it'd be like having a massive like paperweight just sitting there going, oh well look at my paperweight it's awesome cost like 300 pounds yeah but no the reason you have a console is to go and play like online with your friends and play games like there's most that is well would that is the main reason you have a console so you can play with your friends online in games now i must admit word of mouth takes a big part in this as well because if your friends got like if you have four of your friends are online and playing like for example fifa you're like oh crap they're all playing fifa if i get fifa i can play with them see word of mouth it's not really word of mouth but you want to go and play with them you actually want to participate in an online game with them and actually have fun now if you can't do that then what's the point you won't be able to do anything you, even if you can play the game on offline it, it is good that's one thing simply bloody doesn't have but it, it still is pointless it's just like what do i do with it it's just a big paperweight i can just use it to watch fucking films and that would be fucking pointless though uh one good thing that could come out of this is that the recent failure in making online only drm games is that it might make publishers think about it before they actually do it. It's like, oh, these guys have all fouled. Now we won't do it. But I believe they won't learn from the mistakes. As I think really a lot of game publishers are a little bit arrogant, shall I say, just a little bit thinking, it won't happen to us. We'll, we won't make the same mistakes. And um, there's what's the point of looking back on 10 years worth of failure, but well, ish, failure-ish, but failures, and trying to, to, try to learn from that. When we just go, Oh look, all them failed. We won't fail. We will do better. Yes, and they fail, and we just can't advance forward. We just stay in the same spot over and over and over again. 
as I've said time and time and time again, the world's internet infrastructure isn't really ready for this. It isn't really ready for this kind of playing and stress put onto it. So it's like, even with Netflix, uh, this is going back to a video I've done quite a while ago, Netflix classified Canada as a third world country when it comes to the internet. I was like, what? Third world country? Jesus Christ. But yeah, and um, it's just amazing. So with EA's monumental screw up of having, having not enough servers up and running or having not even servers up and running and able to handle the load on them, it has really ruined a great game and the possibility of damaging the SimCity name because I, I remember playing like SimCity all the fucking years ago and playing SimCity 4 as well, loved it. I think I've still got it somewhere probably, I might have SimCity 4 somewhere. It's just like, it, just because I've switched to kind of gaming console because I didn't really have a power enough P PC to properly play it, but now I have so I'm thinking of getting SimCity, hopefully to sort out the servers, but really if they do all that and they still screw up and they ruin that name, what are they going to do with it? They're like, this name is now worthless, but no, he's probably still got some credentials to it because it's not really the people who made the game's fault. It's people who thought, you know what? Great idea. Let's make it online DRM. Yes. But no, it's just a thing. Now, if we take that kind of thinking and put it towards the next gen consoles, if they bring out games that are only online DRM, if they don't have enough servers, dedicated servers up and running to handle that load, then it would just crash. It will. It would just completely go. And everything because most um, at the moment most gameplay and multiplayer done from the Xbox 360 and the PS3 is person to person to person and so that's where the lag comes in because person to person connections are still so unstable that you can't it won't be able to handle the load so everyone will connect to that one person who's host and will play off their internet connection and if it's not powerful enough it will just go kaboom so even at the moment the lag on COD for example and FIFA if we say is so stupid that I've actually gone off playing COD because I'm fed up with getting killed. I am. And just literally seeing the kill cam, then firing two bullets at me, get one hit and I walk away and then I walk behind cover and then just die. And on their screen I see a hit marker in the middle of midair. Just I know there's points that I'm gonna go into a fucking rant about this, but if you think about it, it's it's stupid. If they go this way and all the servers crash then that you won't be able to play online at all. And uh, also if they do person better person to person fucking connection which I very much doubt to do if they do online gaming like online only gaming because it was just stupid but the thing is I don't know if it would be have the amount of servers up and running to be able to handle all that load to be cost effective so with SimC if you don't know you have to be connected to the internet and to a server to actually play the game now this is completely stupid as I said before there should be an offline mode what's the point of having a game where you have to be online to fucking play it. It becomes absolutely fucking pointless. It's just, oh, Because if the servers are down, you can't fucking play the game. It'd be pointless. If like, oh, let me play again. Servers are down. So you you literally have this this disc, which you paid like um, 40, 40 quid for or 60 odd dollars for, and it's just pointless. Like, what do I do with this? And the only thing is though, if the next gen consoles, as I said, go the way of this, then, yeah, there you go. But most likely, the online console should learn from this and have an offline mode. As the PS4 has already said, it will have an offline mode. You can play the games offline, but it's just, it's still stupid if they ever do some proper online games. It's just like, no, don't do it. Don't do it. So, uh, to end this off, uh, I want to say that the person who decided to make SimCity to require an online connection just to play it should be pushed into a room with the people at Maxis. These are the people who made the game. And made the, um, before I would be going any further, the game itself is strikingly beautiful. I love the gameplay. And seeing it evolve in front of your eyes is a magnificent. If you can stay connected long enough to the fucking server to make it work. And from what I've seen online, it looks magical and just brilliant. All the stuff you can do in it, it's just like, oh, I want to play this. And as I said, I may go out and buy it. But it's just like... They must push the person, the person who thought, we're going to make this online only, and shove them in the room with Maximus cause, and just let happen, happens. Literally that, don't say anything more, close the door and just walk away. Just like, can you, I cannot imagine anything worse than you've worked on a game for like 10 years, or something like that, I think it was like 10 years or something, and to have it ruined by one stupid decision 
one stupid decision and it must be so crushing to see all that hard work you put into this game to make this I say again beautiful and striking game and watch it see watch it destroyed by technical difficulties with servers if this game had an offline mode my god it would literally be getting five stars from every single reviewer every single gamer who played it it literally be it would be the best selling game at the moment because if it had an offline mode my god it would be awesome it would be amazing so i cannot i cannot shout this loud enough to these people to every publisher of games microsoft and sony are you listening are you fucking if not open your fucking ears please if you go choose to go down this path do not be surprised if you're met by hordes of gamers wanting refunds and ditching your future titles because if you're stupidly scrambling around on the release date trying to fix servers that are failing on you then it, it didn't have to be this way you, you can just it, it didn't it didn't have to do it you can learn from past mistakes and make a game which has been which works and it will be praised because i say this again if sims city had an offline mode dear god that would be at number one right now it would be the best game out there if you had an offline mode you can only and the online mode if you want to go online you can go online and play with friends like build your own cities etc and build for your friends you shouldn't have to go online to play a game it boggles my mind why would you do this to that game but who knows this is my thoughts I wanted to get off my chest I did I'd love to hear what you think about this if next gen console games go this way of online only DRM what do you think is going to happen do you think they're going to get it right or do you think they're going to fuck it up like EA has yeah, I'd love to hear from you please in the comments down below I have been the Beer Talks. This has been the special Beer Talks thing talking about next gen console games. Will they be online only DRM? Anyway, I hope you have a great day with you. And always keep calm and grow here because I've trimmed mine because I had to look nice today. It's a shame. Anyway, people, keep calm, grow a beard, and I'll uh, catch you next time. Bye bye, people.